Hey, my name is Jeff. I'm a digital marketing director, and I give Adobe Workfront a four out of five. For more reviews like this, click on the link below. When thinking about a project management tool and a proofing system, some of the things that we had did a little research. Uh, we uh, looked at uh, Teamwork, which is a uh, more more along with just the project management side, and then um, we're also using things like Formsite just to be able to send proofs back and forth. Um, there are some other things that were in the mix, but uh, they they weren't really true contenders after we really got into uh, looking at the features and benefits of Adobe Workfront. The main reason why we chose Adobe Workfront was the easy proofing system, uh, the version control, uh, kind of building out your workflows of decision makers, people that can comment and approve things, being able to handle multiple files from uh, uh, video to to graphics to uh, documents, and having uh, text and comment editors um, made our proofing process a lot easier than the traditional passing out pieces of paper through the office to to proof things and uh, sitting in a screening room just to screen our commercials. So I think that Adobe Workfront really is a, a good work environment as far as being able to use the proofing system. The project management system is on par with some of the other things that we're looking at. Um, you know, those of you that might be uh, familiar with Asana or or uh, Teamwork, uh, those might be a little more robust project management tools. But being able to tie your your tasks from your designers and your creative team with marketing and and sales and kind of making sure the deliverables were were met uh, not only through tasks but through the proofing process uh, really made us decide that uh, Workfront was the right answer for us. Onboarding and integration of Adobe Workfront. Um, the onboarding process is a little more complicated than I would have liked, but that might be due to my lack of knowledge. Uh, but once we, we kind of got our IT team in there and kind of set up the integrations of the processes and working with our analysts is kind of set up our, our, our business processes and improve them using the tool, moving forward seemed to be uh, a lot easier than actually uh, onboarding integration at the very beginning. Some recommendations I would give to those that are considering uh, Adobe Workfront, um, look at different options that you have in your proof cycle. Like what is your actual business process and, and what are your needs as far as stakeholders or clients or uh, internal uh, design directors or other maybe agencies that you're working with. Kind of figure out that workflow and if you need those parts of uh, Adobe Workfront. Um, another thing that you might want to consider is how do you set up your 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 task system? How do, how do you project management? Uh, uh, do you set up a scrum system with your team? Is this something where you have regular check-ins? Is this something where you need a Gantt chart to see where you're at? Because these are some of the things that Workfront aren't exactly the most uh, uh, ideal uh, platforms to, to handle. However, um, if you can just run through a task list and, and kind of set up your notifications and work your, your business that way, then Workfront will definitely work for you.